robotic surgery to just convert it into lay language is purely putting a computer interface between a surgeon's hand and the patient. So I am now sitting and uh, uh, actually uh, manipulating those uh, robotic arms that are put in through keyholes into the patient's uh, surgical side. And I'm manipulating them the way you would use a joystick for a video game. So I'm sitting on a console, I'm seeing the, the typically as you would be uh, playing any of your video games, but this is a video game in, in like three dimension. And I have my head stuck into the console over there where the entire internal picture brought in by the camera is like the my computer uh, screen, is my computer game screen rather. And my fingers are manipulating the arms inside which I can see on that screen. So, and the good part of it is uh, you have the pause mode there. So you, uh, the, the, this is the plus point for the surgeon. If he really wants to take a breath and uh, handle even a complicated situation, he wants to take a, you know, a little time out to put his thoughts together and then continue. Just get your fingers out and everything's on pause there. Nothing moves until you're back on the concert. So it's pretty safe also that way. Uh, but again, it has its indications. Uh, I think it's very, very justified for deep cavity uh, deep cavity surgeries which are uh, precise like as in uh, a prostate prostatectomy is probably the gold standard you want to preserve the nerves around the prostate you want to remove that small little organ sitting between the urine bladder and the urine passage uh, without damaging anything else around it so you are working in a deep uh, pelvis and you are uh, removing something small preserving everything so i think and then you're making a joint back again so that's that's really like the ideal zone but i think some of the other zones is again pelvic surgeries where you do uh, either colorectal or gynec surgeries and then you do these thoracic surgeries again a lot of lung surgeries uh, the amount of precision you can get with a robotic surgery around the main blood vessels going into the lung coming from the heart is pretty uh, helpful 